guys welcome back okay so as you can see it's time for another shop my stash I do just kind of have my latest stash already out here um, on my vanity for us to go through as you can see over here I basically just have the items that I have used repeatedly you guys have heard me talk about repeatedly you already know I really really love these items over here so I don't want to be repetitive I just kind of pulled those out because I think all of these are going to be replaced this week with new items but you know these are items that I have been using throughout this stash I apologize if you can hear the fan it's really really hot and I don't feel like being hot so I got my fan right on me anywho these items over here that I have already talked about several times my Too Faced multi-use powder my Kiss Pro Touch Matte Powder Foundation. Love that stuff. Um, last time I picked my two glow bronzers from Revolution. This one is the dark. You know, you guys know I really, really love these. This one is the dark. And this one is the deep. I think, honestly, I only used one of these. I can never remember which one it is. Okay, so this is deep. So deep is the really, really dark one. I did not use this one. I wasn't really going for contour over the past couple of weeks too much. I just went in with the dark. So those served me very well. My Charlotte Tilbury. I just got this from my girl Lily. This is bomb, you guys. I've been wearing it out. So I'm going to put that back. And then also the Essence Pure Nude Sunlighter Palette. You guys know that this is a really, really nice, affordable highlighter palette. Love it, love it. But I'm going to pull something else this week. So all of these items you guys are very familiar with <laughs> from me using them. But these are all going to be replaced. Okay, so now let's go through the rest of these items that I had in my shop, my stash. Let's start with like the primers that I chose. The first one I have here is from Touch and Soul. It's the No Problem Primer. I did use this for the past couple of weeks. Oh my gosh, I still love it, you guys. This primer is so good for filling in your pores and smoothing out your skin. It is so nice. So nice that I'm contemplating keeping it, but I have another primer in mind that I want to use, so I'm going to go ahead and put this back as well. The other primer I chose was my e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. So this one I hadn't used for a very long time, and I decided to go ahead and drag it out and use it again. This one also really, really good for filling in your pores and just kind of smoothing out your skin. So I'm glad I pulled it because I hadn't used it for a while, and yeah, it's still really, really nice but she is getting replaced. <laughs> Next for skincare, um, I did pull this Milk Makeup Vegan Moisturizer. This stuff is so nice, you guys. It is very, very hydrating and moisturizing. It's nice and thick. You know, I know you guys have heard me talk about this. I'm making a nice little dent in this, and I really like it. This is another product that I actually was contemplating keeping, but... Um, I think I'm going to try something else. I'm just kind of in the mood for some different products this week. So I really don't think I'm going to be keeping much from this shop my stash. But it's not because I don't love it. This stuff is really good. Okay, so let's talk about the concealers that I pulled for this last shop my stash. I pulled three concealers. This one is the CoverGirl Clean Fresh. I was very, very pleasantly surprised by this concealer. I wasn't really expecting it to do much just because it's kind of like, okay, clean, fresh. It's probably really light and thin. But although it's not as, you know, how should I say, it doesn't have as much coverage as most of the concealers that I prefer, I was able to build it up. And so I was really, really surprised at that. That I was able to build it up I thought it was going to be too light and it actually blended out to a very nice highlighting concealer for me so I was pleasantly surprised by this concealer and I'm definitely glad that I tried it out because I will be using it again in the future now I also pulled both of my types of elf <laughs> concealer I pulled the 
um, Camel Concealer and the Hydrating Camel Concealer, both of which are in Deep Cinnamon. I love both of these concealers, but it's so funny. The only one that I really used was the Hydrating one. I never really felt like using the regular Camel Concealer because I guess I just wanted more hydration in my life. So the um, e.l.f. hydrating concealer I really really like it but I do like both of these next let's talk about these foundations that I chose for this latest stash this first one here my Smith & Colt this was a brand new foundation that I purchased from Ulta because it was on sale for ten dollars and you know we love a deal around here so I decided to try it out and I love this foundation it's crazy I can't even tell you why I love the finish I love the way that this shade looks on me. I actually bought two because I wanted to try two different shades. This one that I have is the 430 Neutral and it has been looking really, really nice on my skin, lasting all day. It's not dewy and it's not super duper dry matte. I love this finish. It says that it's a weightless micro blurring foundation, whatever that means, but I really really like it so I'm so glad I tried it out very very nice I also tried out the Juvia's shade stick I hadn't tried out any of her shade sticks and so I went ahead and picked this up because it was on sale at Ulta as well <laughs> and I picked the shade Guinea I did use this in one of my videos so if you're curious about you know how it performed for me I don't know you guys I'm just not really with the stick foundations I mean the color worked out fine um it's a little on the lighter side for me but you know I don't stress out about that because I do do a lot of bronzing and contour or well, bronzing actually and highlighting so it's not that big of an issue for me but yeah it's just something about stick foundations that is just so it just feels so heavy to me I can really really feel this on my skin and I don't like that so I'm gonna be putting this back not sure when or if I'll pull it again but I'm sure I will because I keep trying <laughs> stick foundations for some reason okay so let's talk about contour and bronzer like you guys saw in the beginning of this video I have been using my Charlotte Tilbury and my Revolution I don't know I like a lot of bronzing choices just in case I want to go deeper or a little lighter depending on how I feel that day but these are the two that I pulled actually pulled in my last shot my stash let's just start with this one this is the Uma um, double take and this is number three this is one of her you know like their dual ended sticks for contouring or bronzing whatever you want to use it for I use mine for like a really nice dark rich bronze you know because it's not really cool tone enough to do a lot of contouring but it's a really beautiful deep bronzer and I like it I like it a lot <laughs> um, this stick like I always say it also has the highlighting you know tip as well which I never use these type of highlighters so I just kind of act like it's not there but this works really really well for me if you like a cream bronzer or cream contour then you might want to try this out because it works really really well blends out very very easily i also pulled this revolution pro sculpting bronzer now when i tell you guys revolution is really coming with all these bronzers and stuff if i can get this open they are really coming with the bronzers <laughs> okay so this is a newer one that i picked up and as you can see it's beautifully rich nice and deep perfect for bronzing you know my skin tone for sure this one is the shade in Roby. I don't know if you can see that but it's in Roby, and I really like this what I like about this not only the fact that it is nice and rich but it's buildable it's not one that goes on like super super heavy to where you're like oh my gosh you have to have a light light hand no it is definitely buildable so I really like this now for powders, I did choose a loose powder as well as a finishing powder to go along with my other powders. Oh, this thing is so dirty. But yeah, I did choose this e.l.f. finishing powder and I chose the Pretty Vulgar loose powder. Now for this e.l.f. Um, finishing powder, I never used it. <laughs> 
I never used it. I don't know. It's just something about these light toned finishing powders that kind of scare me. But I never used it and I actually really want to try it out. So I'm going to force myself to use it because it's actually a really nice shade. I did, um, you know, I did swatch it and it looks just fine on my skin. You know, it looks really good actually as a finishing powder. You know, nice and blurring. But I never used it. So this is one item that I am going to keep for the upcoming weeks because I need to use it. And I also pulled this pretty vulgar loose setting powder. Ugh. And I was very, very pleasantly surprised at how nice it is. I hadn't used it in so long, had completely forgot about the quality of it. This stuff is bomb. I mean, really, really nice. So yeah, I definitely am so glad that I pulled that and got reacquainted with it. Very nice. Now this DJ's Boutique Loose Setting Powder, baby, okay? This is from my girl DJ's Boutique. She does have a boutique called DJ's Unique Boutique, and this is her loose powder that she just dropped from the DJ's Boutique line. And I have the shade Honey. So you can pick this up on her website. This stuff is bomb, you guys. I know you guys have heard me talk about it in my videos, but you guys are going to get sick of this stuff because I'm going to be using it like crazy, <laughs> okay? So this is what the shade Honey looks like. This stuff is really nice, soft, super fine. You can use it with a light hand. You can bake with it. You can use it heavy handed like I do. And she does have two shades. She has honey and she has banana. So, you know, if your preference is honey or banana, either one, you know, definitely check it out. My link is down in the description box for you to get a discount if you do want to try it out. But yeah, this is going to be staying in my stash <laughs> for quite a while, okay? So let's quickly talk about the items that I've been using for highlighter. I repurposed an eyeshadow. This is a L'Oreal eyeshadow um, in the shade Amber Rush. And I repurposed this as a highlighter and it worked out bomb, okay? So pretty. And I also played around with this Zodiac Cosmetics loose highlighter that I got in my Trend Mood box. It was all of the black owned beauty brands box and this one is in the shade Zeus so I did want to go ahead and try this out play around with it it's really really pretty you guys it's gorgeous I'm just not really a loose highlighter type of chick but the shade on this highlighter is so so pretty um I don't know you know it's just I guess it's just I'm putting it on top of the finishing powder but I guess it's just, so yeah, it's not as, not as blinding as usual. But yeah, I don't know, um, you know, with loose highlighter, you just have to be really, really careful with it, not to make a mess. Pressed highlighter is just so much easier to use. But as you can see, this one is absolutely gorgeous. For some reason, when I put it on my face, it looks just a little bit more glittery than it does here. But it's beautiful. I have no complaints about it. It is absolutely gorgeous, but it's going back because I don't, <laughs> I don't really like dealing with loose highlighter. I pulled this OPV London Born to Shine Blush Palette. I got this in my black owned beauty brands box uh, from Trend Mood as well. And of course, I didn't need any other blushes because <laughs> this palette has six different blushes in it and they are all absolutely gorgeous. This blush is nicely pigmented. It looks really good on my skin tone and it lasted. It didn't fade, you know, throughout the day for me. I really, really like it. Now, I will say I didn't try any of the shimmery blushes just because, you know, it's very rare when I'm in the mood for a shimmery blush. But, you know, let me go ahead and swatch a couple of the shimmery blushes just so you can see what they look like. I don't recall swatching them before but it's funny because this light pink one doesn't really look all that shimmery but let's see yeah it's like they're they're not as bold and scary as they look you know what i mean they're very very pretty and they're not too too shiny or too too shimmery you know these two definitely for sure i would wear very very pretty more so on the apple portion of my cheek so I can use it as a blush and a highlighter. So very, very pretty. 
And lastly, these are the mascaras that I chose. I had already been using this Maybelline Lash Discovery because I've really been focusing my mascara mainly on my lower lashes because I've been wearing falsies more. So this stuff is great for lower lashes. If you just want, you know, a decent mascara for your lower lashes, you're not trying to do anything major, but you want to get them nicely coated without using a huge wand, this is bomb because the wand is so super duper tiny. I know I've showed you guys a million times um, the size on this wand, but I love it. I love how tiny it is. It just works. So yeah, I'm going to keep this I think probably as a staple for right now since I'm really working on my lower lash line as opposed to my upper lashes. Now I did try out this Too Faced, what is it, the Damn Girl, yeah, Damn Girl Mascara that I got from Sephora, you know, their little perks that you can use your points for. I decided to pick it up and try it out and this mascara, yeah, it ain't gonna work for me. This wand is too big it is just too big for my upper lashes lower lashes side lashes back lashes i don't care it's too big i don't like it at all <laughs> it's just an accident waiting to happen so i don't like it and also i don't like how when you put i don't know if you guys can see but when you put the wand back in you have to be super careful because so much product like oozes out of the container you know, it's just annoying. Like, who has time for that? So, yeah, this is definitely going back. And I don't know, I might give it to my daughter because I don't, I don't like this at all. And this one, actually, I didn't pull in my shop, my stash. I put this in <laughs> my makeup drawer because I was going through some of my palettes. This is a pure, fully charged mascara. And I actually really, really like this. But I was going through my palettes and one of them was still in a box. And it had this little mascara in there from Pure to try. And I never even knew. It was just sitting in a box. I, if I had never opened it, I would never knew it was in there. But anyways, I really like this mascara. I do. It's like the wand is just big enough. You know, it's a decent sized wand to get those upper lashes really, really nice. And it made my lashes look nice and long and full. I really, really, really like this. So I'm thinking I'm going to just keep this in my shop, my stash for the next couple of weeks and try and get some good use out of it. So I'm going to put these back in my drawer. And I'm also going to put my DJ's powder and my e.l.f. finishing powder back in my drawer. Okay, you guys, so let's go ahead and start shopping for products for the upcoming few weeks. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start with foundation. And this one is actually, uh, you know what, I think it's going to be fairly easy because I did pick up the new, uh, what is it, Too Faced Born This Way matte foundation and i believe i stuck it in here oh also this huda beauty i picked that up not too long ago and i used it once and i really really like it so i think i want to pull that again so i can use it some more so yeah here this one is the new um Too faced born this way foundation and this one is the matte it says 24 hour undetectable super long wear foundation <laughs> okay and i just picked the same shade spiced rum that i always do so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and pick that for this week and then like i said i'm gonna go ahead and grab this huda beauty and i did get two shades in this i got cocoa and nutmeg so i'm gonna grab nut nutmeg because i think that's the one that i really really liked even though i can use both shades so i'm gonna use this one as well now for um serum i'm not going to pick a serum because i'm still using my good molecules discoloration serum that i really really love so i'm not worrying about serum right now but i do want to switch out my milk makeup vegan moisturizer for a different moisturizer and you know honestly i've been eyeing this glam glow <laughs> for a while i kind of felt like okay i want to use it like at night but I definitely feel like um, I can use this, 
you know to moisturize throughout the day as well so this one is the omega rich moisturizer so i'm going to go ahead pull this and see how i like it because i haven't tried it out yet now let's go ahead and pick a primer since i am using matte foundations i picked the Too Faced matte you know the new matte foundation as well as that huda beauty foundation which i believe is quite matte I want to use a more moisturizing um, primer so that, you know, I'm not completely drying my skin out and depriving it of moisture with those foundations. So let's take a quick look and see. Um, the Tarte is really, really good, but I've been using that a lot lately. Uh, mm. The Tatcha, of course, that's really nice as well. But this here, this is one that I haven't used. This is from Revolution. It is Conceal and Define Blur Priming Serum. So this is like a priming serum, two-in-one type situation. I'm gonna try this. I don't think that this is, you know, mattifying or it's gonna dry me out. So yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and use this. I also think I'm gonna go ahead and grab a setting spray. I've been using the Ciate London <laughs> ever since I got it, cause I really, really like it, that coconut setting spray. It's really nice. But I'm gonna go ahead and pull some of my MAC Prep and Prime. I haven't used this in a while. This is just the regular one. So yeah, I'm gonna grab this to use. Okay, you guys, so now I'm over here in the area of my beauty room where I have all of my other basic complexion items i don't need to pick a mascara though i do have mascaras in here because i'm keeping the ones that i've already been using so let's go ahead and pull this drawer out so i can take a look at some concealers and concealer is <laughs> usually the hardest thing for me to choose because honestly i just want to pick a concealer and go on about my life Uma. I've been using a lot of Uma Beauty stuff lately, and I don't really remember if I like their concealer or not. It seems like I do, but it's a little bit dry. Yeah, it <laughs> it's a really nice shade, but you can see it's already starting to dry down, and I don't like that. I like using concealers that give me a little wiggle room when it comes to blending them out. So let me see here. Fenty. Hmm. Seems like I haven't used Fenty in a while. Oh, that feels good. Fenty has pretty decent coverage, too. I don't know what it is about Fenty that I don't really care for. What shade is this? 390. I have shade 390. And that's what it looks like. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pull this. I'm going to try to use my Fenty this week. And you guys, I'm going to try not to pull like 10 of each. Y'all know how I do. I'm going to try to be good this week. <laughs> okay, so mm, blush, 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 blush. Let me see what I got here. These are some of my blush palettes. I pulled this Queen palette, the Fumi palette, and threw it in my blush box because... I was like, these are some really pretty colors to use for blush for the summer. You know, unfortunately, summer is basically over. <laughs> so I'm not going to pull this now. But yeah, I felt like I would get more use out of it in my blush drawer, quite honestly. Um, This is really pretty. This is a Juvia's um, Saharan Blush Volume 1. That's really pretty. Let me look at my blush book. So this is the blush binder that I just got from the crayon case. You know, the huge one that is just so, so bomb with so many colors in here. Yeah, I better pull this. <laughs> I better pull this because this has so many options for me to choose from, you guys. Yeah, I'll go ahead and play with this and see how I like it. Although I'm sure I'm going to love it. My girl DJ already used it and she loves it. So I know I'm going to love it. I think my next shot, my stash, I'm probably going to pull like one of my face palettes, like my Sephora face palette, because I haven't used that in quite a while and I need to use it. 
Okay, so let's look at some bronzers. I have some bronzers in here, you guys. Did I keep any bronzers? No, I did not. So let's choose one. I haven't used my Hula Toasted in a long time. Yeah, let's take a look. So this is what the Hula Toasted looks like. This bronzer is really, really nice, you guys. It is so, so beautiful. I'm, I'm, I'm going to pull this because <laughs> I haven't used this in forever. I actually almost forgot about it. So yeah, I'm going to pull this. <sighs> oh, it's hard for me not to pull two bronzers. Oh my gosh. I haven't used my ABH in a long time either. This is, um, what is it called? Mahogany. I used to use this all the time. This stuff is really, really bomb as well. Do I need two bronzers, you guys? Do I? Yeah, I think I do. I do. You guys know me. I'm, I'm going to pull this too. Okay, so let's take a look at some highlighters. I have quite a few new highlighters you guys to play with. So I'm super excited. It's probably going to be hard for me to choose. Um, I did get this Beauty Bakery Illuminator. I got this out of the Boxy Pop-Up or something like that. And I swatched this, you guys. This stuff is really, really pretty. Um... Yeah, I swatched it, I think, in my little haul, little haul video. But I'll swatch it again, just so you can see the glory of the Beauty Bakery highlight, okay? Gorgeous. So, this is a strong, strong maybe. I know I just said I didn't want to play with loose highlighters, but this one is like silky smooth, okay? And it's very, very fine, so it's easy to use. I also picked up these two new Melt Cosmetics. These are actually supposed to be blush, but when I buy stuff like this, it's like super shiny, I buy it for a highlighter. So this one is Queen B, the more goldy type color. And this is what the packaging looks like. This is what the back looks like. You see that kind of like glittery labeling. And this is what she looks like. Ooh, she pretty, ain't she? Let's do some little swatchy swatches. Mess up this pretty little imprint. <laughs> ah, okay, so what colors we have? Queen and B. I think this one. This one is B because it's the gold. And this one is queen. Okay. So that's what they look like swatched on your girl. Gorgeous. I'd wear either one of those. Both of them are pretty. And then I also have this one, which is Buzzkill. And so that's what the back looks like. And this is what this one looks like. So it has kind of like a peachy, a peachy tone to it. Very, very pretty. So I'm going to swatch this side, which is Buzz. And this side is Kill. Oh, where do I swatch? Over here. So Buzz and Kill. So that's what Buzz Kill looks like. My light is kind of bright, you guys. But hopefully you can see that, you know, good enough to see the color. They're both very pretty as well. Kill is a bit light for me. But Buzz I would definitely wear. But honestly, you guys, I feel like this Beauty Bakery um, So Icy in the shade Glazed. This one really has my heart this week, so I'm going to pull this. I know I said I didn't want to use... <laughs> I didn't want to use a loose highlighter and then I go pull another one. This is my Kiss Glow and Bronze Powder. Oh, this is looking real tempting right now. Yo, I know you guys have seen me swatch this a million times. Look at that. Look at that, okay? Tell me you wouldn't pull that. Yeah, I'm pulling it. <laughs> so I have a pressed highlighter and I have a loose highlighter, so I'm good to go. Now, since I have DJ's loose powder to use, all I need is a setting powder. So, um, finishing powder. Hmm. What is this? Um, I just used the Aquasurance. I don't want to use that. 
Iman. I used the Iman not too long ago. And this is actually a really, really, really nice setting powder. Color is beautiful. Really, really pretty setting powder color. This is the Earth Dark Luxury Pressed Powder. So I think I'm going to pull this and just keep it simple. Really good powder and I can use it again. And that's all I need, you guys. You guys should be so proud of me this week because I am keeping it really, really simple and easy. I'm just doing like one or two items. So let's go and put this stuff away. Now, I just wanted to briefly touch on the lipsticks that I have in my little container here that I keep on my vanity. This is just a different selection of a bunch of different shades of lipsticks and lip glosses and stuff that I chose just to kind of give me a more condensed selection to choose from. Because I have so many lipsticks, sometimes it gets overwhelming and I don't even want to choose. So I'll just throw on a nude lip gloss and a liner or something and call it a day. But in order to force me to use my lipsticks and try different colors, you know, I just kind of grabbed a bunch of different shades about a month or so ago. It was, you know, a couple of shot mustaches back and put them in here just to kind of make it easier for me to pick lipsticks without getting stressed out. So I have in here just a few different options. This is a nude lip gloss from DJ's Unique Boutique. I also have some lipsticks in here from like ABH, nice nude shades to uh, play with. I also have like some deeper shades. This one is from the Revolution Pro line, which is really, really pretty. Perfect for, you know, the fact that we're moving into fall. I have some colored rain lipsticks in here. So another beautiful nude shade, kind of like a mauve nude. But yeah, this I have found has worked out really, really well for me. You know, I just put this in here. This is from Huda Beauty. Beautiful, like deep plum shade that my girl uh, Lily sent me. And I can definitely use this with fall coming up. Just so many different options. This one is from Ofra. Miami Fever, another beautiful shade for fall so that I don't have to look through all of my lipsticks and just get stressed out. <laughs> this has been working wonders for me, you guys, and I've actually been using these lipsticks. So I feel really good about this. Just something to think about if you get kind of overwhelmed with your whole lipstick collection and you find yourself not using any. Create a smaller condensed version of your collection to choose from and then just kind of switch it out every couple of months and then maybe that'll help you use your lipsticks so i just wanted to touch on that briefly okay i did want to just come over here really quickly just to kind of show you guys a few of the palettes that i have put <laughs> kind of like on this shelf in my face because i do want to kind of be nudged to use them if you know what I mean now aside from you know the palettes that I pulled for fall that I'm really excited to start playing with like one of them was this she's in parties palette so so gorgeous perfect for fall but I did pull this um to kind of play with I also picked up some more singles these are from Terra Moon and you know I just kind of threw them in this little palette but I am like so addicted to like multi and duochrome and just super gorgeous shimmers right now. So I'm trying to try out as many brands as I can. And so these are from Terra Moon and I really, really want to at least do a swatch video on these for you guys and maybe just do, you know, like one look trying them out. I also picked up this LA Girl Break Free eyeshadow palette. The packaging is so pretty. I don't know if you guys will be able to see that, but it's kind of like that packaging where, you know, you shift it and the butterflies kind of move or whatever. I don't think you can see it on here. Oh, there it goes. You see the butterflies moving? Isn't that pretty? So gorgeous, but it's really just like a purple mauve toned palette. And this is what it looks like if you haven't seen it yet. But yeah, it's just a really pretty purpley mauve tone palette nothing phenomenal or extraordinary but it's really pretty now talking about singles 
I also put some more singles in my Colored Rain book of shades. I picked up some more uh, shades from Colored Rain to put in here. And I really, really like all of the shades that I chose. They're so pretty. Oh my gosh, they're so gorgeous. So I kind of want to play with these too. You know, they're really pretty. Let me see if I can get a better shot for you guys. But yeah, they are so pretty. And I really want to play with some of these. I also picked up some more singles from Give Me Glow, so I am really <laughs> creating quite the selection of shadows from Give Me Glow in my collection, and I am so in love. I mean, so in love, and I really, really want to just kind of have some fun with these singles. So you guys might see quite a few videos of me using singles coming up because I'm just in love with them now. <laughs> right now, I'm just in love with singles, okay? Okay, you guys, so let's go ahead and put all of these goodies away. And that's it for this week's Shop My Stash. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like, and I will see you on my next video. Toodles!